Hello guys, so in this video I want to talk about that if we're going to have uh, two uh, base or bases for our topology, then uh, the union of those two bases is not going to be a base. Mm -hmm. So uh, like kind of to prove, not like to prove, to show a counterexample for the statement, first let's remind our, ourselves what does it mean that something is a basis on X. We say that um, some set b which is going to be a subset of the power set of some set x is a base or in other words like basis so they're like two uh, nouns i don't know like which one to ex use uh, correctly so i'm going kind of to interchange base and basis if the two properties are going to hold so the first property that if i'm going to take the union of all elements of my my base so if i'm going to take uh, u that belongs uh, then their union is going to give me the whole x. And the second the property, if I'm going to take some non-empty intersection of two elements of my uh, of uh, the elements of my basis, so the picture is this is going to be my u, this is my v. If I'm going to take the intersection, I'm going to chase, uh, chain, uh, choose some element x inside. And then for that element x, I can find the third element of my uh, base w that is going to be contain x and contain within u and v. So in other words, for any x that belongs to intersection u and v, there is exist uh, w um, belonging to b uh, such that uh, x belongs to w and w uh, belongs to intersection of u and v. So every time when I'm going to give you the collection of subsets of x, you can check that that collection is going to be a base if these two properties are going to be satisfied. So right now, to prove our statement, let's choose some b1 and b2 such that b1 union b2 is not going to be a base. And here, like uh, our motivational example is going to be the standard topology in the standard base. So if I'm going to take real line, then uh, we know what is the standard topology on that, and we know that our standard topology is going to be generated to let's say b standard which is going to be exactly given uh, by open intervals a and b where a and b are real numbers so uh, here what i'm going to do since uh, i want to show that b1 union b2 is not going to be uh, a basis slash base then i want to show that one of this axiom is not going to be or like one of the properties is not going to be satisfied and here i'm going to show that second property is not going to be satisfied and for that i'm going to make the following choice so b1 is going to be uh, a base which is generated by left half open intervals so in other words it's going to consist of elements open a b closed where a and b are real numbers and b2 is going to be given by a right half open interval. So I'm going to have c closed, d open, uh, c, d are real numbers. So if I'm going to now take b1 union b2, let's show that second axiom or like second property is not satisfied. So for that, uh, consider the following uh, intersection. I'm going to take a, b uh, intersection with b and uh, a. So here I can see that the intersection is going to be equal to one element b where the first element belongs to b1, the second element belongs to b2. So in other words, if each of these elements is going to belong to uh, b1 union b2, and we can see that their intersection is not empty. So what do we have so far? We have the first uh, part of our second property. The next part, we want to show that for any x, but here our x is going to be one single element b. I can find uh, some element uh, in my base. So in, in this case, I want to find some uh, W in B1 union B2, such that the W is going to contain uh, B, and W is going to be contained and uh, like, let's say U uh, intersection B, but U in this case is going to be AB, and uh, and B is going to be not B A. Sorry for mistake. This is not should be A. It should be like some other number C, because other way, uh, otherwise uh, that uh, interval is going to be an empty set. Because I want to show that I'm going to take A closed B, closed B and open C. Okay. Uh, then uh, the W is going to belong to uh, subset B. And you can see there is no such choice of W because W must belong to 
B1 union B2. But B1 consists of half open intervals and B2 consists of half open intervals. And we cannot find the half open interval which contains just one point and which is like one point itself. So that's why it's a contradiction. So we just found the counterexample that the union of two bases or two bases, yeah, I don't know how to say that correctly, is not going to be a base. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and have a nice day. Bye.